Hello to all of my viewers out there. Jabbar Brown here from the Musician Training Center. Dot com. Today we're going to show you a lick that you can add to your library of chords and licks. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification below so you'll know whenever a new video has been posted. Also, feel free to check out the musiciantrainingcenter.com, the courses and the lessons. There you can subscribe to become a member and gain access to the chords and the lessons. Materials as well. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to take one chord and we're going to kind of dissect it and we're going to build a lick that you can play with this chord. And what I did was create just a, a track with pads on them playing the chords as well, just to kind of help us out with the example. All right, so. The chord that we're going to use to build a lick from is your B, 13, sus2, sus4. Okay? Your B, 13, sus2, sus4. So let's take a look at the left hand and then the right hand. So the left hand is B and A flat. The right hand is A, B, D flat, E, and A flat. Now, if you noticed, these notes are also a part of the A major scale. So let's play the lick. All right, let's play it again. Now, remember, this is the chord. So we're building a lick with this chord. Let's do it one more time. All right, now let's take a look at this lick and then we'll play it possibly along with another chord, um, a similar style. Uh, maybe we'll probably use this G13 sus2 sus4. So we'll use two of the same type of chords just for an example. All right, let's take a look at this lick. So we have B, D flat, E, G flat, A flat, and B. Okay. All right. Now, once we get to G flat, then we want to drop back down to E, G flat, A flat, B. All right. B, D flat, E, G flat. All right, let's take a look at what we have so far. Chord. All right, so once we get to that G flat, let's take it back to E, G flat, A flat, B, D flat, E, back to D flat. All right, so chord. So now let's take a listen to this chord along with pads. So the pads are also playing the same chord. And then we'll just add another, um, like I said, we'll play uh, this G13 sus2 sus4 as well. All right, we'll play them together. So what we did was we played two of the same type of chords. The focal point here initially is your B13 sus2 sus4. Okay. And just add on another 
13 sus 2 sus 4 this time is G all right so we're just going to along with this second chord let's break down what we did there all right you can take this um, exercise you can take this lick and you can add it apply it to again your library of chords and licks okay so here the left hand is G and F the right hand is G A C E and G now the pads resolve just a little bit at the end and so there's a B there all right this chord by itself for just for the resolve is a G7 so we could take that into consideration as well so left hand is G and F and then the right hand is B so the resolve is really emphasized with this B all right so let's take a look at the lick I played over this chord all right I'm really focusing on two chords and we're also taking into consideration the G major scale, all right? More so your F major scale. We're also looking at the C major scale. Okay? So, let's start with the F major. We're taking an F major, we're taking a C major, and then we're back to F major, C major, and then we resolve on that B. Okay? Okay. So again, we're focusing on two chords, F major, C major. Now, what we're doing is we're going to start with this top F, C, A, F. All right. And then we're going to merge into a C major chord. And the way we're going to do that is land on this E. Okay. Once we hit E, and we're also going to hit C, and then we're going to start at the top of the chord again. Okay? So the pattern basically is starting at the top of the primary chord, all right, and merging into the next chord, which is C. So we're going to take E and C, all right, and then we're going to start at the top again. Now we're going back to F major. We're going to use A and F as a way of entry. Okay. And that's something that you can actually do. You can take it as far down um, to your left, that is, of the keyboard as possible. All right. So. Right? So we really don't want to move or resolve to the B until you hear B. So the idea here is to almost flow with the, with the, the chords uh, being played with the pads. Which means you could slow down this lick at the end. You can start fast. And then when you hear B, you can actually just play that one note by itself. All right. So before we go, let's take a listen one more time and we'll play the examples. Here we go. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Again, we just want to show you a lick that you can play along with your chords and licks in your library. All right. I hope that you've been blessed by this lesson. And as I typically do, I want to encourage you all to keep practicing hard, 
practice smart, keep God first, always remain humble. All right. And together, you and I, let's continue on this journey. Let's do the work and see the results. Until the next time, you guys be blessed and take care. Jabbar Brown signing out.